for the continuation of last video here are the different phases of edlc so what are the different phases of edlc number 1 need number 2 conceptualization number 3 analysis number 4 design number 5 development and testing number 6 deployment number 7 support number 8 upgrade number 9 retirement so these are the different phases of edlc so number 1 need phase so need phase is a come from individual or from public or from company a need should be initiate a development life cycle and need should be visualized the three components the three way they have to visualize the one is custom product development and product tree engineering number 3 product maintenance so these are the three visualized thing is needed in new phase the next one conceptualization phase conceptualization phase define it co it define the scope of concept also it perform cost benefit analysis and project management risk management and feasibility study so these are the things also have to concentrate in conceptualization phase activity in conceptualization feasibility study so the first activity so it should be you know we have to examine the need and the suggest possible solution that is called as feasibility study and cost benefit analysis cba it revealing total development cost and profit expected from the product and third one product scope it deals with activities involved in the product to be made and planning activities it require various plan to be developed first before development like resource planning the risk management plans a next one analysis phase the product is defined in detail the analysis phase we have to respect to the input the process and the output interface at the functional level so activities in analysis analysis documentation it specifies business needs of the product and the development also the activity in analysis is comes under requirements that need to be addressed and these are the things i have to need to be addressed functional capability operational and non operational quality attribute product textual interface requirements data requirements user manuals operational requirements maintenance requirements and general assumptions defining the test plan procedures phase so you know there are 
this things we can comes under validation part then unit testing unit testing it will be test individual model and integration testing testing a group of module for required functionality and system testing it testing the function functional requirements of the product after integration and finally user acceptance testing this test done by end user the user requirement once it is completed then the user acceptance testing is over so this is very important testing so this four testings comes under validation part and designs phase it identifies application environment and creates an overall architecture of the product number 1 it will start with the preliminary design and establish the top level architecture of the product and it resembles a black box that box defines only input and output the final product we can call preliminary design document otherwise we can say that is pdd after pdd the end user can create detailed design the operation manual design that maintenance manual design product which comes under design space and training material design that all together can call detailed design document and next one development and testing space development means we can design particular product into hardware and software and testing can be divided into software and hardware unit testing integration testing system testing user acceptance testing so these are comes under development and testing phase and deployment phase and this deployment phase is a process of launching the product the first the product phase the users users will be face the product very initial how they will be give the feedback how the product working with the end user and fully functional model of the product in the market this we can say uh, this is known as first customer shipping fcs so this process totally we can call as deployment phase and next one is support phase the support deals with operational and maintenance of the product in the production environment then activity involved in support phase you know that atel and all the mobile communication people then even uh the product those are selling they having the customer care number they providing 24 into 7 supports to all the area and if after product launching they identify the area and they will improve the product quality with their feedback upgrade phases so once the product released then if any new versions comes then we have to update the product then only the product will survive in the market then retirement and disposal retirement and disposal the product gradually the process 
you know the product uh, the some of the product maintain their quality this product can comes to their quality or uh, the product declared discontinue from the market uh, because of the lifetime we have to discontinue from this market or we have to disposal this product that is essential due to we have to give some other product to the people so because of increasing user needs rapid technology advancement then we have to change and we have to dispose the product what we already designed we have to ensure we have to give some other new to the customer and satisfy the customer okay thank you